The Planet Man. This is the fascinating story of Danto, the Planet Man, troubleshooter for the League of Planets organization, the law enforcement body for peace and justice in the celestial world, whose headquarters and center of operations are situated on the capital of all the planets, Planaria Rex. From Mercury to Pluto, wherever danger threatens the universe, you will find Dantro the Planet Man fighting for fair play. In a moment, the Planet Man. Recall that Planet Man, Slats, and Gaza, chief scientists of the Mardi, were on their way to Gaza's laboratory to plan an attack on Marston. Slats distrusts Gaza and warns the Planet Man. Dantro, there's something fishy here. Before she was ready to ray us down, now all of a sudden she's on our side. Keep your voice down, Slats. She may overhear. Okay, but watch her. I will. The important thing is that the council is with us. Gaza will have to go along. Hurry along. I thought you were anxious to help your people. Right, Gaza. Is the laboratory very far from here? It's in this building on the lowest level. We'll use this gravity drop. Here I go. I'll never get used to these invisible elevators. pretend to understand what most of these devices are, but you obviously have a wonderful lab. Yeah, you're not kidding. The place looks like something out of one of those old-time science fiction movies back on Earth. You will find that there's very little fiction about this setup. All of these devices work well. Yeah? Which are the ones we're going to use on Marston? That's what I'm interested in. That will depend, of course. Depend on what? On my estimate of the situation. On your estimate? I thought the council... The council left it up to my discretion as to how and when we would act. That's just standing. See, Danto, what I told you? You have some objection to working with me. Well, not at all, Gaza. But I... You see, Gaza Slats is just anxious to help our people. Yeah, that's putting it mildly. Then why delay me with conversation? Shall we proceed? By all means. What's our first step? We will observe the actual situation in your home system. Marston rules the roost. What's to observe? You forget we have yet to see for ourselves what has happened. So far, we have only your estimate of the situation. You think we're lying? On the contrary, I believe you are both telling the truth as you see it. But as a scientist, I have often encountered observations which were sincere but highly inaccurate. That's just a fancy way of saying you don't believe it. Right ahead, Gaza. I can understand your viewpoint, but as Slats points out in his own way, Marston gains in strength every moment, and we've lost precious time already. We will use this machine. Hmm. That looks familiar. It's a spy ray like the one we found on Mars, Slats. The design is different, but it functions the same way. You are right, Planet Man. See? Hey, that's a welcome sight. That's our own solar system is seen from about 500 million miles away. I wasn't sure of the exact location at this moment. Now, if you'll direct me, I'll focus on your planaria wreck. Now, is this it? No, that's it. If you don't mind, I think I know the theory well enough to manipulate the controls of the ray, and I can focus it for you. I am fully capable of following direction, planet man. Just tell me what I ask. You're touchy, aren't you? Yes, I am touchy when it comes to taking orders from obvious inferiors. Make no mistake. The Council has ordered me to help, and so I shall. But I do not agree with their decision, and I do not relish this contact with either of you. Now, if that is clear, which is Planaria Rex? You, uh, you can't see it even with that machine. It's uh, somewhere between the orbit of Mars and Earth at this point. If you come into that area between the third and fourth planets, I'll be able to get its approximate location. Very well. Bingo, that was quick. Hey, look, there's old Mother Earth. We're practically in my backyard. God, that makes me homesick. If you follow an elliptical course from the point where you've now focused, Gaza... Just like this, hmm? Yeah, exactly. Now, hold it. Uh, come back a bit. There now. Magnify the central portion of the screen. You did it, Dantro. It's Planaria Rex on the button. 
Is that large group of buildings the headquarters? Yes, Gaza. Will you come in on them? That's really a sight. I find them rather primitive. Yeah, you would. They look good to me. Hold it, Flat. There's something going on in front of the League Assembly. Yeah, there sure is. Look at that mob. They're looking at something over toward the steps. I'll focus on that area. Flat! Look, it's a firing squad. A firing squad on Plumeria Rex. What can that mean? We'll be back in a moment. So, level off. When we left Dancho and Slats, they were in Gaza's laboratory. We find them now as they are watching some strange goings-on on Planaria Rex through the use of Gaza's spy scope. You're right, Dancho. It is a firing squad. I don't like this. Is that your usual way of punishing criminals? As a matter of fact, it isn't. We haven't used capital punishment for many centuries. But I don't think that squad's waiting for a criminal. Can't quite figure out what they're saying. Well, they're angry, whatever it is. Yeah. Let Marston call in the shots. You can be sure it's bad news. Focus on the firing squad, please, Gaza. Like this? Ah, that's it. Mm. You recognize anybody in the squad? No, but I didn't expect to, Slats. None of the regular guards would be a part of this. Boy, listen to that crowd. Uh, they're angry, all right. Must be about that firing squad. Yeah, if it weren't for that guard, they'd rush him. Look, even with those mobile ray batteries, they're having trouble. Look, the crowd's pointing and shouting. Someone's coming out at the top of the stairs to the headquarters building. Come in a little closer, Gaza. Hey, listen to that crowd, will you? He's going to speak. Huh? People of Planaria Rex and of the League. If any of you make the hostile move, the guards have orders to use their rays. Your anger amuses me. You are helpless before my power, and you know it. I have warned you and your representatives in the League. I have made examples time and again, and still you resist. Marston wants to help you for your own good. It is for your own good. Under Marston, this system will reach and rule the stars. You see, Gaza, it says I warned you. Let us hear him. What's to hear? He's howling like a mad dog. Nevertheless, I would like to listen. But you are all fools. A few have seen the wisdom of Marston's way. Others have dared to resist. Even tried to rebel against my administration. Look, Danto, over there. Hey, one of the crowd has a ray gun. He's firing at Marston. That a boy, whoever you are, burn him down. A fool, whoever he is. Look. Marston must be protected by a force screen. The ray isn't reaching him at all. What's he doing? Just what he could be expected to do. That's why I said whoever fired at him was a fool. No, even Marston couldn't do a thing like that. He's ordering the guards to turn one of those mobile ray batteries on the part of the crowd the beam came from. Gaza, can't you do something to stop him? That's going to be a mass murder. I am not ready to act yet. Planet man. What do you mean you're not ready to act yet? What are you going to do? Wait until Marston wipes out the whole solar system? Your emotionalism fails to impress me. As I told you before, I am a scientist, and I will decide for myself what to do and when to do it. Look, there goes the battery into action. No, I can't look. Now, it wiped out that whole section of the crowd. Look. The rest are dead silent. Now, perhaps you'll believe what I've told you, Gaza. You can see the kind of man Marston is. You've heard him say himself that he plans to conquer the galaxy. Don't you think you've seen enough to act? Yeah. Yeah. Don't you think you're carrying this scientific approach a little too far? I will act when I am ready. And not before. All right. I've had enough. Just a minute, Slats. Look crowd is looking toward the entrance of the plaza. Will you focus your beam in that direction, Gaza? Certainly. Hey, they're bringing someone out. Must be the victim. Now, Marston speaking again. Listen. Now that whoever it was that dared attack Marston is taken care of, we can proceed with the purpose of this demonstration. I have called you here today and ordered the League communications to carry what happens here to the outermost rim of our system. I want everyone to see once and for all that the will of Marston is not to be thwarted. What's he talking about? He's talking about whoever it is they're bringing out to the firing squad. Hey, just can't you focus the fire a little closer? Maybe we can see who it is. It would do no good whoever it is is masked. Yeah, you're right. 
But you know, he looks familiar. Yes, he looks familiar to me, too, Slap. I'm just hoping it isn't who I think it is. You think it is some friend of yours? I had rather not guess. But be prepared to do something. I told you before, I will not take orders from either of you. Hard is really picking up a fight. Look at the way they're trying to fight their way to whoever it is the guards are bringing through. Only they all wouldn't shout so much, you might be able to hear what one of them is saying. Uh, uh, there goes Marston again. In a moment, you will know who it is. I'm going to make an example for all the solar system to see and know. I warn you again that any attempt to interfere with my soldiers will be punished as this last attempt was. Not just by the death of whoever lifts his hand, but by the death of many of you. There now, they're backing up whoever it is against the wall. They're taking off his mask. Look, they can't be... Tell me I'm wrong. No, Slick. It's as I expected. That's Judge Augustus. And Marston is going to execute him unless we do something to stop it. Judge Augustus is at the mercy of Marston. And Vancho and Slats at the mercy of Gaza. Will she interfere? We'll be back in a moment. But first, here is a message the Planet Man wants you to hear. Tune in again for more transcribed thrills and adventures. Rocket millions of light years into space with Dan Troll, the Planet Man. The Planet Man.